All right, guys, we're back for part four of the cabinet organizer build, or the closet organizer build. I uh, had a problem with the memory card, lost all of my footage, most all of it. So what we're going to do is uh, these panels are the exact same material I was using on the closet organizer. So I'm going to go through the exact same process of finishing these, show you exactly how I did it, and show you the finish end product of what it looks like and I'll even get one of the closet organizer so bear with me and we're gonna get started on this and start doing some finishing all right guys got my supplies set up that I'm gonna need for uh, finishing these panels again this is just the exact same process you'll go through for your closet organizer first thing I'm gonna use some good masking supplies some paper some tape Make sure you don't get this stuff anywhere you don't want it. It's uh, really hard to clean out of any carpets, any floors, off walls. So take the time to prep your area. Mask everything off that you do not want finish on. Second thing you're going to need, finish. Um, I'm using General Finish's Armor Seal. This is a satin finish. goes on great. Uh, multiple ways to put it on. I found what works best for me. To use with this product um, this is not the be all end all of how to apply a finish there's multiple ways um, if you have any other questions about applying a finish you can consult the label or the company and they'll let you know if that's an approved way to apply the finish of their product uh, the next thing you're gonna need is a container something to put that in it's really hard to get a brush or a roller into this jug you don't want to be dipping out of the jug anyways you're going to end up with some contaminants on your brush, your roller. You don't want to have that contaminating your whole jug of sealer. This does come in smaller quantities, so don't think you need to buy a gallon. Um, for this particular finish, next thing I'm going to have is a foam brush. A uh, couple different sizes can work. Uh, I believe this is a 2.5 inch and works well with this finish. Holds a lot of it evens out nice. Majority of my finish is going to be applied using these four inch form foam rollers on a J handle. Um, really like this. It's easy to get a uh, nice even finish with and it's just faster for me. You do not need the roller. You can do this entire finish with a brush or even a rag. Uh, in fact my uh, I'm going to do three coats. I'm going to do two fast coats. So one coat, let it almost cure, do a second coat over top of that. And then I'll wait a day and I'll come back and do a third coat after a light sand with 220 and just use a rag to wipe that on just to even out the finish. And this finish, when done this way, turns out amazing. So let's get into it. We'll start masking off our area. All right, guys, first thing you're going to do, um, this may not apply to your closet organizer, but uh, if you have any outlet covers or switches, go ahead and remove them. Majority of your outlet covers are going to just have two screws. These are a little different unit where they just snap off. Next thing you're going to want to do, like I said, anything you don't want finish on, just cover it in a little bit of tape. Alright guys, so we're going to get started. I've got my finish here in just a small container. Not a lot of finish. You don't need a lot. Um, take my foam brush. What I use this for is I use this for my edges because my roller doesn't get real close without making a mess. So just nice even strokes. Apply this finish. Keep plenty of it on the brush. And I work my edges. Now I'm going to do this around the top of the walls, corners, anywhere it's real difficult to get a roller in, you're going to want to use this brush and this technique and it doesn't take much 
you don't want to have this finish on so heavy that it drips so just remember that and if you've got too much bring your brush to another spot where there is no finish work it out a little bit and then come back it'll soak up a little bit of that extra finish and clean it up for you we got our first coat on the edges all done we're trimmed it out now it's just doing our field work like I said I sanded this to 220 grit wiped it down with tack cloth before I started make sure you do that it'll help your finish a lot I've got my finish set up in my paint tray here um, well, let's get going I try to back roll across my uh, area every time. Don't just try and go in one direction. Try and get it as even as possible. Work it out. I'm going to keep going on this guys. I'll get back with you as soon as I'm ready to put my second coat on. I've got our first coat on. It's just about dry. And this is when I put my second coat on. Same method as before with the roller. Okay guys, when I get this one done, I'll get back with you. When it's dry, we'll get our sanding done and go on to our third coat. All right, guys, here we go. We're back on day two. Um, our finish is dry, our two coats. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our random orbit sander. We're gonna hit this with 220 grit, super quick. This, you're not trying to sand all the way through. You're just taking off a little bit of that roughness. And then we're gonna jump into our third coat and final step. I'm using the Festool ETS 125 REQ. Who cares? It's their four inch palm sander with dust collection. You cannot beat the Festool dust collection. It's just top of the line, but you do pay, pay a premium price for it. If you're, uh, if you're doing this in your home and you can close the area off, close a door, um, wear a dust mask, um, or do it by hand. There's not a lot of dust if you do this by hand and we will touch up our corners and edges with a 220 grit sanding block. So here we go. Let that die down a little bit. Um, now, I'm not using a lot of pressure here. I am pretty well just letting the sander do the work. You're not trying to press. If you push, you're going to burn through that finish, and you're going to have a divot, and you're going to see that light shadow um, as any reflection catches that. So you're just trying to go nice and even. You can see me running my hand over, and right there I can feel I missed a spot right there, so we'll hit that. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay, we're just going to keep going, get the rest of this wall finished up.
Okay, there we go guys. Now we're gonna use just a simple sanding sponge. I'm gonna touch up my corners where the sander can't reach and uh, we'll get back into finishing. gonna wipe this down. Um, tack cloth works great. Just a normal rag will get majority of the dust for you. Give you a nice finish. Got our finish in our cup again. Keep it separate from our large jug. Just gonna dip that rag just enough to get it wet and start buffing out. All you're trying to do is get a nice even coat and this is just going to fill in those micro scratches from that 220 and it's going to give you an amazing finish. All right, guys, that's that. So I'm going to keep going on this. Um, you're just going to continue this method. If you're not happy with the finish you get after the third coat, take that 220 sanding block. Knock off any rough spots. Do this again. This method with the rag is great for getting a nice, even finish. Super easy. It's not a high build. That's what you use your first two coats for. All right, guys, I'm Bryce with Draw Knife Designs. Sorry about the uh, oddity on this, but this is my finishing video for the cabinet organizer, closet organizer. If you have any questions, guys, hit me up in the comments. I'm really good about responding. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you've got anything you want to see, hit me up, let me know, and be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Swag Carpenter. Thanks for watching.